Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. About three days ago, we began the topic of exponents. And today is our fourth video. Today is our lesson number 119. 119. And today we'll, we'll have our fourth lesson on the topic in a series of 10. What you see on the blackboard, listen very carefully, what you see on the blackboard is the problem from yesterday, from day number 118. In the event that you did not watch day 118, it will be a very good idea for you to actually look at this problem, make sure you understand it. Here is what it says. The value of 2 raised to negative 8 plus 2 raised to negative 9 plus 2 raised to negative 10 plus 2 raised to negative 11, the whole quantity divided by 3, is how many times the value of 2 raised to negative 11. What I want you to do right now is, in the event that you have not watched yesterday's video, then in that case what I want you to do is to pause the video, look at this problem, understand what's going on here, understand the solution to it because the next problem that we are about to do is going to be very similar to this one and if you can understand this problem the next problem is going to be a cinch it's going to be a very straightforward very simple problem and if you cannot uh, understand this thing on your own you can you can always go back and watch day day 118 you must always go in sequence it makes it easier so I'll, I'll be quiet now for five seconds I'll give you unobstructed view and then I'm going to erase the whole thing All right, the problem that we have today is this, the value of, the value of 3 raised to negative 5 plus 3 raised to negative 6 plus 3 raised to negative 7 plus 3 raised to negative 8 over 4 is how many times the value of of 3 raised to negative 8 is how many times the value of 3 raised to negative 8 and the answer choices are three quarter three nine ten and thirty I'm going to be quiet now. I want you to pause the video at this point, solve this problem yourself. Once you have solved it yourself, then and only then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time as always. Okay? I'll give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. One more time, the value of 3 raised to negative 5 plus 3 raised to negative 6 plus 3 raised to negative 7 plus 3 raised to negative 8 divided by 4 is how many times the value of 3 raised to negative 8? And these are the answer choices. Here we go. It's just like before. It's just like yesterday. Nothing is going to change. Exact same method, exact same logic, exact same rationale. So what we're going to do is first worry about the denominator. Don't worry about don't worry about the 4 at the bottom. We'll pick up the 4 at the bottom at the very end. So we have 3 raised to negative 5 plus 3 raised to negative 6 plus 3 raised to negative 7 plus 3 raised to negative 8. And the question is this quantity divided by 4 is how many times 3 raised to negative 8. Somehow if you can get 3 raised to negative 8 outside as a common factor, we can figure out how many times 3 raised to negative 8 is, we can answer the question. How can we get 3 raised to negative 8 outside? Well that's very simple. Just like yesterday, just like yesterday, if you want to get the 3 raised to negative 8 outside, we have to write negative 5 as 3 raised to negative 8 plus 3. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Plus 3 raised to negative 8 plus 2. 3 raised to negative 8. Negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. Plus 3 raised to negative 8 plus 1. Again, negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7, you see? And finally, we'll have 3 raised to negative 8 plus 0. This is the tricky part. Do you understand? That's it. Now we can take out the 3 raised to negative 8 as a common factor. We take out 3 raised to negative 8 as a common factor. 
from the first term we took out the negative 8 we, re we are left with 3 raised to 3 3 raised to 3 from the second term we are left with 3 raised, three, ra three raised to 2 here we are left with 3 raised to 1 and here don't forget we are left with 3 raised to 0 which is important you with me so far? very good now we figure out what these quantities are 3 raised to negative 8 times 3 raised to negative 3 raised to 3 is 27 plus 3 raised to 3 squared is 9 plus 3 raised to 1 is just 3 and finally 3 raised to 0 we know that 3 we know that any number raised to 0 any number any number raised to 0 equals 1 any number doesn't matter what that number is any number raised to 0 is 1 so 3 raised to 0 is 1 that's it we're almost there 27 let's, let's do simple stuff first 9 plus 1 is 10 and 27 plus 3 is 30 27 plus 3 is 30 9 plus 1 is 10 so 30 plus 10 is 40 so this quantity boils down to 3 raised to negative 8 let's not put, squeeze it way in there it boils down to 3 raised to negative 8 times 40 and now we're going to pick up this 4 from the from here and put it underneath here that's all that's it we're done so it's 3 raised to negative 8 times 10 and the question was this quantity that we see here 3 raised to negative 5 plus 3 raised to negative 6 plus 3 raised to negative 7 plus 3 raised to negative 4 divided by 4 3, 3 raised to negative 8 rather divided by 4 is how many times the value of 3 raised to negative 8 and the answer is it is 10 times that quantity the answer is d the answer is d and that's all there was I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.